Uh, good morning, Thetis. <laughs> Fucking everybody's tired. Good morning. Good morning. Put on the put on the pep. <laughs> I'm clutching lots of coffee in my hand at the moment. <laughs> I have a giant fucking bottle of, like, water and vinegar and fucking soap and sugar because I was trying to kill some flies. <laughs> oh, okay, no, that makes more sense. Say, what are you doing? Yeah, I was, I was purposely making it sound really bad until I got to the end to see any reactions. <laughs> Does vinegar wake you up in the morning? I mean, I just, you I just chug vinegar. I, <laughs> I mean, I guess that's one way to go about it. Uh, all right. So today, I wanna, I wanna t do something a little bit different. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna do the same thing as always with like you know our little list that we do. But uh, I'm thinking instead of just doing like three in a row, like we you know I do one, next person, next person, next person, to try mm. and like mix up the, uh, the conversation a little bit. Yeah, I think that sounds a good idea. <clears throat> okay. Uh, so I'll, uh, today we're doing... Uh, the, what are What is the like hardest choice for you in the Dragon Age games? Uh, I gave the option of one in each game, but as of now, I can only think of two in Dragon Age Origins. <laughs> so hopefully, as it goes on, I'll think of some. Uh... <laughs> After oh, like two days of planning, fucking, I just couldn't think of anything. All right, uh, my number one for Origins is actually gonna, probably going to be super unexpected for everybody, but uh, my hardest decision in Origins comes in the uh, Dragon Age Awakening expansion. I n don't know if I like killing the architect or not. Same. I never do. I I killed him maybe twice out of like the several times that I've played it. But yeah. uh Oh, yes. Forgot about that. Well, hey, guess what, fuckers? Uh <laughs> <laughs> We didn't do the intro. I didn't want to interrupt no, you. You're fine. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, hey, you know what? We're on fucking autopilot, baby. Let's <laughs> Where <laughs> today today is is new. We're just we're just cruising. Uh I already said the good morning Thetis, but guess what, Thetis? Fucking I'm Ethan. <laughs> Hi, I'm Asia. <laughs> Hi, I'm Luna. I'm Nimble Toes Play, but go with Nimble. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> anyway, the architect should be preserved. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Give him a chance. He's a good boy. He's just doing his best. So my headcanon <laughs> is actually like that's who the warden's looking for in Inquisition. I would so like that. I literally cannot do it in any of my playthroughs because I'm like, if I do that, then how is she going to cure the blight? He needs to be there. Yeah, I... I... I just really want some more talking darkspawn, you know? Oh, I really want to see that in the the new game. Like, it, really, great. they, like, dropped it. And then, like, I'm like, bring it back, please. How fucking yeah. awesome and insane would it be if you could get... I can't remember his name. Is it, like, The Voice or whatever? Uh, the the guy who, if you keep if you keep him alive, he becomes, like, a wandering darkspawn that saves people. Hmm? Hmm? You don't know about that guy? There's no. the there's the the talking dark spawn that like helps you out at the end of Awakening. Oh, I know who you're talking. The messenger. About. Oh, oh, okay. Is it the messenger or something like that? Uh, yeah. Did yeah. You if you the mother or something like. I, I don't know. The mother can't. does fuck for me, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if this would keep her alive, but all I know is if uh, if you let him live. And, like, you work with him and all that, he becomes, like, a traveling guy who, like, saves people and stuff. And he's a darkspawn, and he's really cool. Oh, this guy. Okay, I just looked him up. Yeah, is it the messenger? Is that his name? Yeah, it's the messenger. Yeah, I think I think that's the right one, because I know there's a couple. But, uh, I'm pretty sure it's him. Yeah, he, he becomes, like, a traveling dude, and he's like, I'm gonna help people! 
Unfortunately, he's a dark spot, so sometimes people end up a little sick. But you know, <laughs> he's he's got he's doing his best. It's people a little sick. <laughs> but I, I I totally agree. Like when I was reading um, the calling, and that was and I hadn't actually I haven't done the awakenings DLC, so that was my first interaction with the architect. Oh, um, and good, yeah. I and I man, I love the idea of like a sentient dark spawn who can mm -hmm. speak to you. Who can relay more lore about the darkspawn like i really love that so if we could get that in dragage 4 that would be amazing yeah or even if they were like to introduce like a different one of the magisters besides architect and corypheus uh-huh that'd be pretty dope and then maybe this one was like i've worked with the architect or something here are my talking buddies and i'd be like yes like <laughs> i just love the talking <laughs> darkspawn <laughs> The messenger does, is a bean. Anyway, what were you saying? <laughs> it does make me wonder if, like, because in 4, I mean, I think we're going to start, like, finally cracking what actually happened with the start of the Blight. They might bring everyone into it. Dope. Oh my god, my mind would literally be blown into smithereens. <laughs> I mean, we're going it, We're going to Tevinter. Like, it's, it follows that we would start trying to figure out what happened with the Blight. Originally, especially. Yeah, like, it's... Oh, go ahead. No, so I was just—I was—I wish that that had been explored a little bit more when we had Corypheus talking about like how they turned up at the Black City and it was already corrupted and the throne was already mm. empty. Like I was desperate. I was like, "Give me more! Like, tell me more <laughs> about this, like you know this like fabled event in history." And you tell us like three lines. Um, yeah, if we could find out more about it. In, in uh, Dragon Age 4, that'd be amazing. Yeah, it's too bad Corypheus is out of his fucking mind! <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bit. Just a, just a little, yeah. <laughs> Look, he was fine until Hawk like, had to come and like try to stab him. So <laughs> he was just a little lost. And then his voice changes a little bit, but you know. <laughs> well, look, John Hurt couldn't do it anymore, I know. so... <laughs> Uh boy, he, he is, both uh, voices are beautiful, by the way. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, my God. I, I uh, love the accent in both uh, both cases. It it's it makes me sad every time I play the, the Dragon Age 2 DLC, because it's like, oh, we could have had, like, John Hurt Corypheus. It would have been so cool, but I get it. He was not doing well uh, at that I point. Don't know if, so. I don't know if you guys... Uh, have you guys seen the post I put up last night about Robin Sachs? Because that always makes me pretty sad. I love him. Tonight is big sad hours. That's what we're doing today. Yeah. You know? <laughs> oh. uh, fucking Seneschal Varel, Saul Carith from Knights of the Old Republic, and Zaid. This man was a and fucking Zaid. legend. <laughs> oh, and that man had a gorgeous voice, and I would do anything to hear that shit again. Fucking awesome. And anyway, the best villains in Buffy. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm done making everybody sad. All right, Asia, would you like to oh. go next? <laughs> okay. Um. So, this one was rough for Origins. Like, I had to really think about this this morning, and ended up like opening the keep and going through all the choices and be like, "That's okay, a good idea." Which is the hardest one to do? So, it this one is like a really small event at the time but you don't realize how much it actually affects the rest of the world mm -hmm. and that is whether or not you should harden Alistair mm -hmm. whether you're going to have that conversation with Gul'dana or you're just going to ignore that house because usually if I'm not hardening him I don't even go into the house I'm like oh your yeah. sister lives there that's <laughs> nice I'm just going to keep walking by <laughs> I've never found that to be difficult. I'm always like, hell yeah, I'll go see your sister, no problem. Well, I never, I never hardened him. Like, I don't. Never? Nope, I can't bring myself to do it. Yeah, I'm always, uh, I like my boy nice and soft. <laughs> well, <definitely. laughs> there are scenarios where, like, it, for him, it would be better if he were. Like, if you're planning to have him marry Anora. <laughs> Mm -hmm. He should be hardened, because in that relationship, like, she's going to walk all over him. Maybe that'll make him hardened after all. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> that was terrible. Yeah, it was. Hell yeah. Uh, Dad jokes. 
Uh, uh, that's going to be my shtick for the show. I make the dad <laughs> joke. <laughs> but, like, if you if you do, like, you have to know right then and there. And for, especially if you're just playing through for the first time and you have no idea how much this affects, like, basically the lands meet, but also will affect the later games. Because, like, his, all of his dialogue changes throughout the other two games that he appears in, depending on this. Mm -hmm. Small little thing. So, I mean, I'm that's really gonna have to look this up now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I I just pulled up the keep to help me, like you know, think more about <laughs> about the second game. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I don't know, because um, as we've previously discussed, I like making Logain the warden now. So you also can't harden him. If you're gonna do that with Logain, because mm -hmm. if he's hardened, he's like, "Oh no, we're just gonna kill Logain anyway." Even and if you're like, just, "I'm gonna make him a warden," he yeah. just he freaks out. Just so slices the poor man's fucking head off. <laughs> yeah. Listen, he's already <laughs> broken, Alistair. <laughs> uh, yeah, I. The other like quick runner up would be what to do with the werewolves and the humans, or the the werewolves and the elves. Yeah. Like that one's always a little hard for me. I don't see I don't see the point in doing anything but choose both of them. <laughs> I can't remember. I think I did it so that the guy who originally my memory is terrible. The guy that originally um, like invoked the curse ended up dying or something, and I think the werewolves were cured. Yeah, I'm saying yeah. Uh, fucking Zathrian, he dies, and then. Everybody yeah. ends up being okay. I say I don't I see any. That's really... oh, sorry, good. No, I remember seeing like a really hot nature chick. Uh... Oh my god! As a <laughs> child, I remember playing that game as a kid, and I was like, "Those are titties." I just wanted her to succeed. Whenever I decided, I wanted her to come out on top. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my... but just throwing this out here: if you side with the werewolves, you get to fight the dark spawn with werewolves. So, like the first time I played the game. I definitely chose the werewolves. <laughs> and like I was like, elves are fucking dumb. Look at these <laughs> sick ass werewolves. <laughs> and, I remember thinking in, in the Battle of Denerim I was I had the elves, so I must have not done that. And thinking like these guys are so useless, like they just get completely destroyed. <laughs> yep. <laughs> They're like useless. Yeah, some fucking gangster ass werewolves. <laughs> But at the same time, if you get the werewolves, like, you have to go back to the elven village and kill all the elven people. Like, you have to, you have to help the werewolves. <laughs> it, it's really, oh, it's terrible. Anything for some hot fucking nature spirit ladies. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 Man, I wish she could come back in some form. I would love to see her character. Like, that kind of character again, that whole, like, For real. nature sprite. A... That would be so cool. It's very um, exclusive to that game, now that I think about it. There's nothing yeah. like that. I haven't even heard it mentioned again, like, that concept. Yeah. Like, yeah. I put out uh, a thing the other day, and I was like, can we please be fucking werewolves in DA4? Imagine me. <laughs> I want to be a werewolf so bad. <laughs> Dude, you say this in my DA4 prediction video. I said, "Oh, I was, um, thinking about like who our party members could be." And there's a guy called Antoine in To Vincent Knights who gets, I think, bitten or clawed by a werewolf in one of the stories. Mm -hmm. um, and I and I don't remember if he's like cured of that or not. And I was saying like, how <laughs> awesome would it be if Antoine could be one of our tank companions and he has like a werewolf form that you can like activate. That'd be pretty uh, dope. That would, that would be amazing. He just like claws shit down. <laughs> He's like this massive tank of a werewolf. Like that. Yeah. I mean, I was probably a bit frivolous with that particular prediction. No, but... that'd be pretty sick though. <laughs> I thought it'd be cool, man. Like exploring that. They didn't really get mentioned again until Tivin tonight. And I always think like mm -hmm. the latest book in a series. Why drop that random like reference into what is a fairly obscure like monster creature mm. if it not intending to come up again. And so... I, I had the same thought while reading it. I was like, we're bringing werewolves back? I mean, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so down for that. <laughs> <laughs> it, yeah, they're literally not oh. in 
any they're not they're, they're nowhere after origins right like well they so, show up in two for a second yeah like a split second but that's yeah. it yeah nimble what were you gonna say uh it it would definitely have to be like better implemented than the way the mate like with origins when you do the whole shifter ability because no matter what every oh. single time i transform into a spider or a bear or a dog i die like <laughs> i'm just dead immediately you also gotta do the 20 second dance first yeah Whoa. and then like and then if you get hit just the wrong way then it like cancels out <laughs> good old origins i fucking love that game uh, <laughs> warts and all <laughs> yes of course i love it all right <laughs> luna you uh you want to go on your turn? Okay, yeah. Um, okay, well, following the oh. uh, Origins theme, um, I'm surprised it didn't come up here, actually. So I only played Origins once, as we all know, and in the last podcast we were talking about romances, and I mentioned um, that I was romancing Alistair. And this is what made the dark ritual decision um, the hardest for me ah, in, okay. <laughs> in Origins, um, for a couple of reasons. Firstly, I just don't like, like, blood magic. I don't like that side of magic in the Dragon Age universe. Um, so when Morgan's suggesting to have, like, old god babies, I was like, whoa, this <laughs> is... <laughs> like, we don't do that here. <laughs> Maybe in the Kukari wild, that's the norm, but... Um... <laughs> and then there was the added layer of the fact that I was romancing Alistair at the time, and she was kind of saying, like, getting my blessing mm. for him sleeping with her, which was kind of a weird dynamic as well um and i imagine <laughs> it's i imagine the choice is even cooler if you're a male warden who can like do the act yourself it's pretty great um yeah <laughs> I, I think if, <laughs> i think if i was a male warden i would definitely do do it just just because it's cool but as a female warden for me it was a really difficult decision because like there were other things to think about rather than just like this will save me from the archdemon yeah. It was also why do you want an old god baby? Why have you mentioned it now? Also, um, this will this will be my son. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, I and, I don't. Um, oh, sorry, good. No, no it's I, fine. It was just the fact that like I didn't know actually until quite recently that um this, I can't remember his name, but the 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 boy comes back in the Kieran. Kieran, yeah. Yeah, Kieran. That's it. Um, yeah. So, and for me, like he. I guess he could come back again, which would make the decision like even more significant. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was just that. So that was my hardest origins decision, I think. I I had thought about that last night, but for my playthroughs, it's never been a hard choice. Yeah, same here. If only like the first time I played through, I was like an Alistair supporter and romancer all the way. But mm. when I found out, like, when Morgan tells you, like, hey, um, one of you is going to die if you kill the, um, the once, if you're, you're going to kill the Archdemon, thank you, it is too early. <laughs> 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 so, like, hey, I got a way around it. For my approach to it was like, well, I can't help you, unfortunately, but Alistair can, and that conversation <laughs> that you have <laughs> with Alistair... <laughs> <laughs> hey, but, do this for us. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of how I've always approached it. But also, Morgan's argument of we probably shouldn't lose this old god like soul um, if you're going to kill the archdemon also really appealed to me in a lore way because it, mm -hmm. it it's mm -hmm. got me thinking like okay, so we've had four other archdemons at this point we've lost four old god souls like mm. what would happen if we lose the rest of them so yeah i've never done <sighs> the uh the well that's not true i've done it like maybe once or twice the uh, old god baby outside of it being my character in love with morgan i know i've done it one time where i was romancing liliana because so for me it's always been like on top of Saving myself, saving Alistair, and the fact that my character is in love with Morgan. You know, we're, we're, we're basically just having a child together. <laughs> yeah. Let me get and a I, little bit easier. Yeah. I only found out recently that Kieran can also be born without the old god soul. Yeah. What, yeah. Wait, really? 
Yes. Yep. Really? If you if you uh, sleep with Morgan, uh, just ba just do the basic romance, and then at the end of the game you don't do the the ritual and you just let either Logan or Alistair die for it, then you could just have a normal human child with Morgan. Oh, weird. And yeah. the the interaction with Kieran in Inquisition is vastly different. Oh, so so it's different. He's just like yeah, a normal kind of creepy. <laughs> yeah, he's a normal, just weird kid instead of a supernatural weird kid. <laughs> yeah, looking... he comes up with some weird one-liners actually. Fucking um... looking at you and like your blood's weird. <laughs> oh man, yeah, but that's that's, that's, the, that's the one like we need this in Dragon Age Four. Please, can we finally? Yeah. Sorry, imagine, blood. imagine a child coming up to you and saying, "Hey, your fucking blood's weird." <laughs> Your blood's not your own. Did you know that? You're just like, what the fuck is this child? Hey, Kill it. Hey, can I take a sample, please? Oh, no. <laughs> I like when he's like, if you're an elf in quiz, he's like, she didn't tell me you were an elf. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's it, kid. Start throwing shit on the ground. Now fucking put up your hands. We're going at it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Same thing if you're like a dwarf, him. too. He's kind of like a like a two minute call with some of the stuff he says, like the lines yeah. that he says mm -hmm. and the significance they have. Like you mentioned, like the dragon blood and stuff. And I just hope, like I just hope, that it's not like throwaway lines mm -hmm. and that they actually address some of that stuff in four. Because it would suck if they're doing all of this like foresh almost like foreshadowing, and then don't mention it again. <laughs> well, yeah. yeah. Kieran mentions it, but so does Corypheus if, like, you're either a Kunari yes. Inquisitor or you take Bull with you. So, yes. I think it's gonna come up. I really do. The only thing that, like, makes me slightly sad is that Kieran is not a definitive thing that happens, which sucks. Mm -hmm. Because mm. it's like, hey, imagine all the fucking cool shit that the game would be able to implement if he was, like, a definite thing that had to happen in every world state. Because, mm. like, the fact that there's choices... The companions, but... Yeah, exactly. Like, for example, he could be, a, like, a companion or something, or he could just, like... he. I guarantee you he'd do, be able to do some fucking crazy-ass storyline shit if he wasn't a choice and just was in the game. Oh, if he could be, like, a... Yeah, if he could be a companion, um... And kind of serves that Cole role of sort of like quick, like convenient narration <laughs> um, of like just dropping tidbits so you don't have to actually like flesh them out. Um, yeah, he would be a really, really cool companion. But as you say, he, he might not exist in every world state. So I wonder if they would do some like funky Morrigan stuff to address that. Uh, I'll probably like, find maybe, some way. Maybe she was she got busy, you know, <laughs> or, <laughs> during her quest for Luvin or something, or a stand-in like Stroud. Yeah. 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 Maybe that's what, um, maybe that's when they introduced Connor, but then I guess he'd be a bit old. Yeah. And Connor is also a, yeah. Like, he's not, a he's not alive. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot. Of, there's a lot of fucking variant. Here. <laughs> but uh, nimble. Would you like to hit us with your origins? Okay. So for Dragon Age Origins, I think my most difficult choice was at the lands meet because I was trying. When I first played, I was trying to, like, make sure I didn't kill everybody. And, <laughs> like, and so, like, I kind of understood where Logan was coming from and everything. And so I didn't want him to, like, have to be executed. But, like, Alistair made it so black and white mm -hmm. that I was just like, what are you doing? Stop it. And then, like, going on to Dragon Age 2, if you do chose choose Logan and you don't like harden him he turns into this drunkard and like <laughs> you're just like what why <laughs> like it it, it it's just kind of frustrating because like the entire game was like all gray you had like these three different choices to and then suddenly black and white choose Alistair <laughs> or Logan and I was just like what I think it's because Alistair is like Especially at that point in the game, does see the world in very black and white. Oh, yeah. he does. And I love his character, but at the same time, you gotta got gotta evolve and realize, hey, more important issues. You know, for years, I didn't even know that getting Logan was a choice. Oh man, <laughs> because I, I was just like, off with his head. 
Kill him! <laughs> and, then, and then one day, <clears throat> I was scrolling through my PS3's like achievement list, and I was like, mm. "Wait a second! I've never fucking got all the achievements before." <laughs> and companion. And yeah, what do you mean another companion? <laughs> and then I looked it up, and I was like, oh, yeah, I'm never going to get that. And to this day, I still don't have it. Even though he's always my warden, I can't physically do it in the game, or else I just, like, get, get upset. I'm like, I, I can't hurt you, Alistair. You're I just can't. You're exactly. Out. I no. have that same problem. I'm just like, I can't break Alistair. Well, I'm like, I'm sorry. <laughs> like I said, AJ, he's, he's <laughs> Logan is my warden in every playthrough now. But I just can't physically do it in the video game. <laughs> it, I mean, he is the best warden, in my opinion, in Inquisition. But it is fun to uh, recruit him. If only because some of the banter is, like, ridiculous. Like, there's one he has yeah. with Severin where he's like, uh, Severin's like, hey, so uh, you hired me to kill the warden. And Logan's like, yep, I sure did. And Sev's like, yeah, sorry, <laughs> I, I didn't. Yeah, so sorry, I failed. <laughs> I, I remember looking that up. I, like, I don't know. It, like, Logan is so clearly uncomfortable in that role. Yeah, he is. <laughs> <laughs> you get a kind of glee out of it. Especially if you've read, um, if you've read The Stolen Throne, like, his character yeah. does not suit that lifestyle. He's mm. not that guy. <laughs> and then they send him to Orlay, which gets even funnier because he cannot stand Orlay. So... And you can roast him for it too, and he's yeah. like, "Haha, yeah, I know, I'm fucking Orlay." So I mean, there's a plus side to it, even if you're like, "Oh, I can't do that to Alistair." And as we talked about in the last episode, Tegan does come and save Alistair if he's a drunkard. So. Alistair will have a happy ending. Hopefully we know what... Well, hopefully we know what the happy ending uh, is. Yeah, I'm not sure what that happy ending is yet. If, if <laughs> it's even a happy ending, he probably takes him out back and puts him down. <laughs> Redcliffe. I'm sure he makes him, like... The, the castle. It's fine. <laughs> okay. Logan was left in the faith. Finally, redemption! Uh, oh, no. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Every, all the all the sadness. All right. <laughs> I, I I can't I just can't. All right, my my turn. <laughs> We're gonna go back to to Dragon Age Two now. <laughs> uh, and by back to Dragon Age Two, I mean we're going to start Dragon Age Two because we haven't done it yet. But <laughs> uh, so uh, I think that my hardest decision in Dragon Age 2 is just straight up probably the biggest choice in the game, which is just the Orsino or Meredith at the end. Mm. Oh. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. nowadays, I try to just give it to Orsino every time. In my first playthrough, I gave it to Orsino, but I was a child and I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. Because, <laughs> <laughs> again, I played these games when I was a fucking baby. <laughs> <laughs> I played one one when I was like twelve years old, the other like thirteen or whatever, so uh obviously I played them since, but <laughs> uh yeah, I gave it to Orsino the first time and then I I replayed the game when I got older and I realized Damn fucking the mages fucking suck in this game. <laughs> the mages are really a bunch of fucking assholes. Yeah, There's no. not a single good mage in this game, except for maybe Meryl, but even then, she's fucking doing blood magic too. Yup. So almost uh. every single time in that game, I fucking handed everybody over to Knight Commander Meredith and was like, Templars, do your thing, these people are fucking out of their minds. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now I, I still, I think my canon is, you know, helping the mages and Orsino and all that, but to be fair... They're really fucking rough. <laughs> yeah. I usually sided on uh, Meredith's side, but I, f I think it was the playthrough I had where Bethany was it in the gallows. So I was like, well, mm -hmm. I can't do that because that's going to be awful. Yeah. So I sided with the mages, not knowing 
that you'd still have to fight Orsino. And then getting to that fight and being like, are you serious right now? Oh my god! For real. No, All every, this time! You fucking <laughs> bastard! It's like, I trusted you and all these fucking people, and you bullshitted me! <laughs> yeah. I was like, yeah, when I was, um, because I thought he seemed like quite a level-headed guy, like, generally. And so my first playthrough, I sided with the mages, and then, like, it's not even, like, hopeless at this point. It's just, like, a spot of trouble. And he's already, like... I'm just gonna cut my like arm open and turn into this massive like abomination. And I was like, wow, man! Like we haven't even like it hasn't even started. It's not even that bad yet. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and then you attack me. <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> so I actually looked this up uh, yesterday um, because I was looking up something on Orsino, and uh, apparently the only reason why you fight him is because the devs were like, there needs to be another boss fight here. Mm. So they just made it for both. I was like, oh, yeah, I was... they didn't have a whole lot of time. Oh, yeah, it's also... <laughs> it doesn't make much sense. It doesn't. <laughs> what they should have done is they should have fucking made like the final confrontation, you know, between the two factions. You know, you're in the big fight. Either whether you choose to fight one or the other, you're either in the gallows to that once part with Arsino or in the uh, well, still the gallows with like that little courtyard with Meredith. Mm -hmm. And then Orsino can still lose his shit and use the blood magic, but he uses it against Commander Meredith and not you. That'd be a cool, like, Titan boss yeah. fight. Giant, giant fucking, uh, what's the word we're looking for? Statue lady Statues. against fucking Abomination Boy. <laughs> <laughs> I think I read cool. somewhere recently that it is possible to get to a point where you are in the courtyard with Meredith and Orsino, and then he challenges Meredith, and then he uses the blood magic. I I've never heard of that. I've yeah, never I've got never, it. Yeah, I've never experienced that. Yeah, I was reading it really recently, so that is helpfully vague. <laughs> <laughs> if I find it, I will. Um, I'll put it like I, I will put it in the description or something if I can find where I saw that. Um, but I'm sure I read somewhere that it was it was possible with mm. really specific, um, like world state decisions and things. But I I can't remember. But. Uh. <laughs> Because I, I honestly like Orsino's fight is worse than Meredith's fight for me. Yeah. Like I absolutely hate Orsino's fight. It's kind yeah. of like this ultimate boring. betrayal if you you do side with the mages the entire time. Suddenly mm -hmm. he's just like, "Oh, okay, everything's over. I'm gonna kill everybody and turn into this blubbering monster thing." Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, you oh, came to help me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm. I'm gonna take a quick second to like go on a insane tangent totally <laughs> totally off topic <clears throat> okay <laughs> but it came to my head right now and i just want to catalog it for the podcast <laughs> <laughs> i am obviously a massive fan of bio <laughs> i okay. played these games until i i remember playing the mass effect series until i literally passed out as a child <laughs> Oh my god! I, I would play in high in middle school. I would play Mass Effect two until I literally would pass out. <laughs> so, th imagine this here. I had a dream one day, well, <laughs> before Mass Effect two came out, that I was playing Mass Effect one, and I was playing it so fucking much that I had a dream about a whole different scenario of getting a companion that didn't actually exist, and for years I thought it was real, and I tried to replicate it, and it just wouldn't work. <laughs> like, there's a... <laughs> Is it Conrad? No! <laughs> it's, oh, no. It's, 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 Li <laughs> it's Liara. So, oh, okay. fucking, so when, when you get Liara behind all, that, uh, all those shields, she's like, oh, you gotta help me, blah, 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 blah. I swear, I was having some, like, some fucking weird mental trip. Uh, and the whole time, I still remember it so clear to this day, she's fucking talking to my character, and she's like, oh, there's somebody here to save me. This has to be a dream. This can't be real. And I was like, nope, not a dream. I'm here to save you, Liara. And she's like, no, no, no way. This is a fucking dream. I know it's a dream. And I'm like, no, it's not a dream, Liara. I'm here to save you. And, like, it was my mind telling me that I was dreaming, but I'm just, like, 
not getting it because I'm a child. <laughs> <laughs> well, again, this is totally off topic, but like I just, <laughs> I, I, I have had that in my head for more than ten fucking years. And you guys made me think about it just now. <laughs> totally, totally off topic. But, like, that's fucking crazy. Fucking child me was having an existential crisis in his mind with over Mass Effect. Just standing in front of, like, Shepard being like, No, really? I I'm was here! <laughs> <laughs> I was getting so upset and I was like, no, Liara, you don't understand. I'm here to save you. <laughs> no, you can't be. <laughs> I was genuinely upset. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry for the tangent. I'm so sorry. It's fine. I thought okay. it was great. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's a, you're ready? You're Dragon Age 2. Okay, um... So this was also a little bit tricky. I was trying not to go with the obvious one. Because uh -huh. <laughs> I know it's going to come up. So, um, and if not, we can discuss it after everyone's gone, I guess. <laughs> uh -huh. um, so, I don't ne necessarily think it's, like, the hardest choice, but it's, like, the, the hardest to go through. And mm. that's Katojin's side story. So, like, no yeah. matter what you do, he's gonna be dead. Yeah. But, like, you continuously, like, I mean, it's it depends on your approach. I know for mine, every time, even though I know he's gonna be dead at the end, um, I try to do everything I can to try to save him. Same. And um, it's just really hard to go through emotionally because, I mean, I've... For me, I'm very attached to the Kunari, so it's you have to go when you talk to him, at, finally at the end, and you can be like, "Well, you can go back to the queue," and he's like, "No, I I'm probably corrupted now because I've been away," and it's it's just really sad. It gives me sad face. <laughs> <laughs> I never, I'll be honest, I never had that uh, that kind of emotional response, but it's pretty awesome that you did. Well, because, uh, I mean, he burns himself alive. Like, it's hard to it, not have an emotional response it, to that. A little disturbing. He's just like, I can't go back. Goodbye. Boosh. I guess yeah. I'm, just, I'm just hardened from that uh, Liara dream. Because, <laughs> like, he just does it, and I'm like, well, he's dead. <laughs> but, I feel like, like, on my first playthrough, I think what I did, I gave him to the Kunari for, like, a... Um, oh, like the no. ceremonial death. Uh, so I was geez. like, I was like, this is some like next level Kunari kun religion stuff. Like it's yeah. like not my place. Like I said, I would deliver him, and I delivered him. So yeah, but I know what you mean. It was like, like you come to care for this cat, and even though he's only in there for like you know one mission. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's um, it's not that long. Yeah. But it also really made me hate Patrice. So <laughs> Patrice is such a fucking bastard. Oh, she is. I hate that. She's bitch. the real villain, isn't she, of Dragon Age Two? I would think so. <laughs> a Damn, bit. Who, yeah. which one of you guys is gonna make the meme? <laughs> <laughs> I, already, I already made one for Dragon Age Two this week, so uh, I think I saw it. Yeah, the fucking yeah. Anders one. <laughs> I'll, have to, yeah, yeah, I'll yeah. have to find a picture of Patrice. I'll do it. I'll do it. <laughs> I will retweet it into oblivion. <laughs> Man, Same. I hate her. Like, there's just no, like, I thought, or maybe I've just misunderstood her on my first playthrough. On my second playthrough, I was like, no, she's just a massive bitch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, when, I when do I get to kill you? <laughs> there, like, is no redemption for her. Yeah, even, <laughs> like, even Meredith is kind of like, oh, well, I can kind of see your point of view. Yeah, like, Meredith, she is, I mean, her own things going on, and then suddenly she's corrupted by the lyrium idol, and then, like, it just keeps getting worse and worse, but with Patrice, it's just like, oh, yeah, here, let's sacrifice this person, and this person, and this person, <laughs> and just on and on and on. Oh, boy, Meredith, Patrice, you crazy sons of bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Luna, what do you got for uh, Dragon Age 2? Okay, Dragon Age 2. So, um, much in, in a similar way to Asia, I didn't want to go for anything obvious. I feel like there's maybe one or two decisions that, are, that everyone thinks of when they think of Dragon Age 2. <laughs> um, so, 
And actually, I found the, the big one quite an easy decision to make. <laughs> 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 so what I went for instead was actually a decision I did struggle with, and it was whether to um, kill Bertrand or save him. Yes. Ah, that's a good one. Yeah, so um, lots of reasons why it's difficult, and lots of reasons for and against, and that was one I really struggled with because it was, like, you you are not equipped with enough, at that point in the games, um, like, not looking back or whatever, I don't think you are equipped with enough knowledge to know whether he is, like, beyond saving, mm -hmm. or whether he's, like, fully gone, whether killing him will end, like, any branch of blight he might have. So it was very much like, do I want to save him because, you know, it's it's a good thing to do, or do I want to kill him because it might be the better thing to do? Um, and obviously you've got, like, Varric as well playing into that, um, like, having to, like, kill his brother is yeah. pretty intense. Um, yeah, so that's the one I struggled with, um, and I probably, like, yeah, I think I probably googled that one because I was just like, I don't want to get this wrong. I don't know. Mm. Varric wants you to save him so much, like, in the end, if I remember right. Like... So I no, always kind of go better. based off of what Varric wants, because it's his mm. brother, and so it should be his decision. Yeah, for the longest time, I was just like, okay, kill him! But, uh... <laughs> yeah, I, I was the same, because, especially because, like, after he literally <clears throat> locks you in the deep roads, I, yeah. I was yeah. like, like, I, was like, I, a... like I, didn't... <laughs> I was like, it's I just... do not care how blighted or crazy you are. Like, before you had that idol, you were a dick. So. <laughs> yeah, like, he really was, but Varric is so distraught about it that I'm like, uh... <laughs> so listen here, Barton, I've officially taken your brother underneath my wing. He is my brother now. <laughs> <laughs> so you can go, fuck yourself, and then I stab him in the throat. But... <laughs> <laughs> And then, you know, depending on my world state, I'll I'll swap it up. It doesn't really matter to me personally. But uh, I do think that it's a really good choice, though, that they put in there. And it used mm. to be tough for me, but it's no longer tough for me. <laughs> only because I've done mm. it so many times. But yeah, I thought that yeah. was actually... A, that was a fucking... That was a good one, Luna. Would not have thought about choosing <laughs> that one. Definitely would not Thank have thought you. about that. <laughs> Alright, Nimble, what you got for DA2, my dude? I feel like I went with an obvious one, maybe. So my first place, <laughs> my fine. my first playthrough of Dragon Age Two. If you don't get enough approval with Isabella, she leaves and never comes back, and that happened to me. Ah. So the second time when <clears throat> you're doing, when you're becoming the champion and you fight the Era Shock, I, I kind of had like this respect for the Era Shock and did not want to fight him mm. at the same time i liked isabella even if she did do a stupid thing so mm. like i was distraught about what i wanted to do and obviously i went with the whole fighting the era shock thing because like i didn't want isabella to die but did like you... sorry good uh no i was done okay did you <laughs> did you 1v1 the era shock or did you do the team fight uh i 1v1 I was all respectful and like, okay, we'll go with your traditions. <laughs> was that the only one who had a fucking rough time fighting him? Oh, uh, uh, no. no, I, no. Ran... <laughs> I ran around like a chicken the entire Same. time until yep. like, my mana went up and then would be like, do, 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 run, do, do, do. <laughs> yeah, as a, a mage hawk, it's, it's not an easy fight. It's like every no. time, it's summon your dog and be like, dog, help, help. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> just, What's just funny is that as a, as a rogue hawk, as a rogue hawk, he goes down like a bitch. Like he goes down in like three minutes. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> so, so, like my second playthrough, I was a mage hawk. I was like, this is gonna be a piece of cake. And then he starts like he like one shots you. Uh -huh. I'm like, oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> I thought like, I better ch I better check what high level strat I need for this fight, and it's literally yeah, do a figure of eight around circles. the room. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. As a maid, you're pretty much flailing around like a chicken, like, no! Yeah, I just got to the point where every time I replay the game, I just do the group fight, because I'm like, I don't even want to fucking deal with that anymore. <laughs> I've never done the group fight. How do you even do the group fight? Because maybe maybe it's because I always have Fenris with me, and he's like, they're going to do a one-on-one. -on -one. It's like, wait, what? We're going to do what now? Uh, you just go, <laughs> no, I'm just going to kill everybody. And then he's like, well, fuck you. And then you guys just do group fight. 
And there's a fuck ton of Kunari. Is that an option? Yeah, yeah. I, I definitely yeah. made sure I did like a respectable thing because I respected him so much. Like yeah. in the canon playthrough. I, I did that the first like, couple times, but then I got to the point where I was like, I fucking hate this boss fight because he beats my ass every time, so I'm just gonna fight <laughs> yeah. everybody. You just have to avoid him stabbing you through the stomach. That's that's the big thing. Yeah, and he fucking pulls you on his sword like some soul caliber shit. Oh, it's like a kebab, isn't it? Like... Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, Come Arish, on. Arishok is <laughs> fucking tough. We're, we're back to me again. <laughs> and I still haven't thought of one for Inquisition yet. <laughs> so, uh, I'm gonna be a bitch and I'm gonna say, hey, how about I'm gonna go back to Origins <laughs> and then maybe maybe uh, at the end I'll throw my Inquisition one if I have one. But Because uh, every Inquisition choice seems very perfect for me like i like this is my choice and there's no other choice but uh mm. my uh my second one for origins uh <laughs> is going to be uh choosing the keep or amaranthine in awakening as well cuz both both my choices are in awakening cuz for the longest time i didn't know you could do both <laughs> so that was like a really fucking hard choice for me for a while. And I was like, oh, but the people, but my homies. <laughs> and. <laughs> Wait, you can do both. Yes. This is a thing. Yeah, but yeah, you, it's, you it's run the risk on console, of getting both of them destroyed if you do oh, that. Oh, okay. I was like, how did I not know this? Yeah, there's also a really weird bug on console, or I don't know if it's just PS3 or whatever. But this is like. This is a lot of bugs with Awakening, man. Mm -hmm. There's a lot. We're like. <laughs> Some people will just randomly die and be dead forever, and you're like, how the fuck did this even happen? Or, <laughs> like, they'll be perfectly fine, but in the end credits thing, it's like, they died during mm -hmm. the fighting, and you're like, what's... what is this? this the Awakening <laughs> is super bugged. Yeah, there's a reason why I've, I think I've only played it three times. Yeah, I mean, I, I couldn't tell you how many times I've played it, but I definitely stopped playing it over time, even though I enjoy the storyline, the ending of that thing is so fucked. It's mm -hmm. like, it's so glitchy. <laughs> yeah, it's but, it's the worst. Yeah, but uh, the whole that whole choice is always super uh, rough for me. I never know which one I want to do, but uh, I got to the point where I'm just like, fuck it, I'm just gonna save them both, because I didn't know that was a thing. Uh, but yeah, and that's how I, I do it now, and that's that's it. I feel like every other no other choice is really that hard for me until you guys like mention it, and then I'm like, oh yeah, you know what? That was pretty tough. <laughs> uh, but I, I stick to my gun so hard and choose the choices that every single time the same exact choices. So I don't know. I, <laughs> I re this this topic was hard for me to be honest. This was a very I'm interested, hard. I'm interested to know because um, the only other one I struggled with because I just didn't know if it was the correct one. Is who was your um, king in Orzammar? Ah, uh, so as a child, because again, I played it when I was younger, uh, I always chose Harrowmont, but then mm. as I, when I replayed the games when I was an adult, I always choose Balin now. I never did not choose Balin. Uh, Balin's mm. just a better king, and he's like better for Orzammar. And Harrowmont, although he was like super nice and shit, he holds on to those old values that really weakens the dwarves. Mm. So same thing. Yeah. yeah, I just like I said, uh, it it was never really a hard choice for me. It was just a choice between am I an informed adult or a child? <laughs> <laughs> mm. Uh, go with the nice person who has the bad traditions, yeah. or go with the jerk who like, might actually make things better. Yeah, the whole time I was like, wow, this guy's super nice, of course he's gonna be the king! He's my friend! <laughs> and then I became an adult and I realized, y you fucking suck! <laughs> <laughs> like, thanks for helping me and all that, and I'm sorry I gotta stab you in the back here, but like... <laughs> Balin's clearly the better for your- like, you guys are literally fucking dying out. The last city of your fucking... The last, like, big-ass city you got. And, like, you need some fucking help here. You guys gotta start branching out, doing some new things. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's a difficult choice. Like, I... I it, it's weird. I switch back and forth mm. between gameplays. And I, I do see the argument for Balin, but, like... 
didn't he kill like his brothers in order to get in line for the throne? To it's be fair. So... <laughs> <laughs> to be fair. Uh, yes, but also. <laughs> But also, he did it for good reasons. <laughs> oh, yeah. And justify the means, yes. Of I course. Mean, I mean, like, I, like I've said, I haven't, those are the two playthroughs I haven't done, which were the, the two Dwarven origins, so, oh, like, so... I'm sure it's a completely different perspective on it, Dude, but... it's so good. The, the, the Noble Dwarf origin, although I never make it my canon, because the elves are so perfect, uh... <laughs> Dude, the dwarf, the dwarf uh, noble is fucking great because like there's so many different ways to end it. Although you, it, well, although it all ends in the same way, there's so many different ways to get to that end. Like for example, you could, uh, you could straight up help Balin kill your brother, and then Balin's like, he's the fucking, he did it, it was him. Oh. And, or you can straight up just be like, I don't trust either of them. I'm gonna kill both of them, and then. Gorham's like, you probably shouldn't do that. And then you get caught and whatever. And there's like, it's just a fuck ton of ways for it to end. And you can, I don't know. It's just so good. I love it. It's, it's so underrated. I Interesting. love it. So okay. Cool. I think you might've finally convinced me to try that. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> also, uh, cool, cool fact for those who don't know, uh, the dwarf character, uh, the dwarf noble character in origins is the only character that can have a uh, canon well canon for your playthrough if you do it uh two children oh right because yes. um marty the, yeah marty you can have two kids you can have kieran and you can have your uh Idukin son which okay. is cool as fuck to me because i'm like yo kieran's got a fucking brother somewhere that's lit <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I I, did, I really like that that origin story, even though I never never do it anymore. <laughs> All right, <laughs> now we're going to Inquisition for Aja. Inquisition, okay. Yeah. So this one's a little bit difficult as well, because mm. there aren't. I mean, the only like super hard choice, which I think across the board is hard for everyone, except for if you're, like, coming into Inquisition without having played any of the previous games, would be the Fade choice. So I was trying to avoid that, because I'm like, oh, okay, yeah. that's the obvious one. Let's... <laughs> everyone had a hard time with that one. So, um... I, I did not. Oh, so, you didn't? Like, I, I, I did, always uh, had Shroud as my warden, so... Oh, okay. Like, yeah, <laughs> pre pretty much. Until recently, <laughs> when I... Like... <laughs> Okay. Uh. <laughs> so when it released like I saw all the snapshots I'm like oh no what's gonna happen to my guys and I'm like Shroud okay I'm fine yeah pretty much same <laughs> until recently because recently I started making it Logan as my warden all before that it was always Shroud I was like who the fuck is this guy get him kill him <laughs> death death now uh, but... Mr. Handlebars stood no chance <laughs> see, no, see no, my yeah. first playthrough like that was when I, I did all three of them together it was right after Inquisition came out and I purposely avoided spoilers mm. so and my first playthrough I romanced Alistair and kept him a warden so you get to that oh, moment yeah. in the fade and you're just oh, like no. Scan absolute scandal <laughs> but I had somehow found out about the fade choice while I was playing Origins. And so I knew I would leave Hawk in the back of my mind because there was no way I would leave Alistair. Mm. And so when I played DA2 the first time, I purposely didn't get, get attached to my Hawk. And like, mm. I think that was awful because like DA2 is now my favorite game and Hawk's probably one of my favorite characters. Yeah. <laughs> Hawk is great. So I can't even imagine now, like, doing that choice. So, I, yeah, I do Logan and then be like, okay, go redeem yourself, bye! <laughs> I got a question for everybody uh, involving a important choice in Dragon Age 2. Do you all play as female or male hawk? Female. Female. Nimble? L. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I uh, I've had this discussion with people in the past, and I I just have such a hard time seeing Hawk outside of male Hawk because I think Nathan Nathan Bolton is just I'm sorry Nicholas Bolton 
is just so fucking perfect with that voice. <laughs> See, I love Joe Wyatt, and, like, I will have anything with her voice in it. <laughs> <laughs> just every time I hear Nicholas Bolton, I'm like, this man is a king! <laughs> I mean, that's why I love Reyes in Andromeda, but... <laughs> yes, yeah, he's great. You know, the first time I played that, I didn't even, like... I, like, met him once and then never saw him again, because I didn't <gasps> even... I didn't even know that you could, like, talk to him ever again. <laughs> oh, no! My heart! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, hey, nice to meet you, buddy, and then I was like, that storyline went nowhere! Oh, and no! <laughs> Same thing with fucking, uh, the lady that's there that runs the place. Mm -hmm. Uh, I can't remember her name. Did but you yeah. just, did you just ignore that because she's voiced by Vivian's voice actress? I did not know that, but now <laughs> I know why. It was subconscious. <laughs> no, I just got there and I was like, all right, time to just keep playing. And, and I didn't realize that those were side quests. I was like, I'm sure it'll come back up. And they never came back up. Womp <laughs> womp. All right, so actual Inquisition choice yes. difficulty <laughs> thing um, is who to put on the throne in Orle. Mm. That is a good one. This this decision, I think, is uh, vastly more difficult if you have not read the Mass Empire. Yeah, definitely. because I hadn't read the Mass Empire, so I was like, "Who are these goons?" Like. <laughs> 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 I got the cocky elf. I've got this like guy who just wants to hurt people, <laughs> <laughs> and Selen, who's just like, "Hey, can we can we all just get together and be peaceful, please?" <laughs> <laughs> like it's not only is that it a hard choice, but it's also depending on if you actually do all of the things that you need to do in the Winter Palace. Yeah. Like, if you miss some of the hollow statues, or you don't go into the wrong room and you waste your hollow statues on the wrong room, mm. hey, surprise, you have a limited choice of what you could do. <laughs> okay, so I... This is a very small opinion, but I don't like Celine. Like... <sighs> Gasp. I, I don't like her at all. After reading The Masked Empire, I was just like... I kind of liked Gaspard a little bit because he was no nonsense, even mm. though he was like very. I, 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 I know if he ended up being the ruler, he would definitely probably end up going to war with Ferelden. So I did not mm -hmm. choose him, mm. but I did end up letting mm. Celine get assassinated and then chose <gasps> Briala to <laughs> rule through Gaspard. <laughs> I love all the audible gasps. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> so I had that happen. That's my default. Like uh, I don't like Celine enough to let her live when it because of my first playthrough, I did not know about the fact you can get them all to get along. So otherwise I would have gone with that. But... I, and and that's the hardest one to get. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll be honest, I really really like Gaspard as a character. So I always want to put him on the throne, but I never do. Yeah, uh, exactly. He's he's he, he's just a great character overall, and he's really interesting. And I'm like, if you weren't trying to, you know, massacre the lands of, my, of previous games, then maybe I would exactly. put you on the throne. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Uh, Luna, what do you do? <laughs> So, what do I do? Um, Pre-reading Mast Empire, I feel like uh, I reconciled Briala and Celine and had them rule basically together. Mm -hmm. um, Same. And then the second playthrough, this is still before I'd read Mast Empire, I went for Gaspard because I was convinced that he would do us more favours in the upcoming war against mm. Corypheus um, and was a bit more like decisive militarily. Uh, and I actually killed Celine to achieve that end. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then now that I've read The Mass Empire, I actually had the opposite thing. I actually liked Celine more, having Ooh. read the book. Yep. Because um, I felt like Gaspar was just like, man, that guy was stirring the pot, was he not? Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. like and, you know, he claims he's got the more, like, the rightful, um, he's got the more correct right to the throne or whatever, like, rightful claim to the throne. 
um, which might be true, but that was like, I think she's been Empress for like 20 years at this point. Yeah. Wow. And, like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, dude, go and find a hobby or something, like, go and do something else. <laughs> like, <laughs> holding a grudge this long. Yeah, I'm like, good grief. Like, is there nothing else to do in Olay? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, there's not. The only and it other sounds thing. like. <laughs> Sorry. It sounds like she's been like, no, no, it's fine. It sounds like she's been fairly successful at, at that for the last 20 years. Mm -hmm. um, and I, d I just don't like Briala. I just don't like her. There's something about her I don't like. I didn't like her in the books. I didn't like her in the game. Um, uh, I don't know why. I think it's because she's kind of like, I don't know. Like, she's a bit scheming. Yeah. Like, I just don't like people who <laughs> I can't was... trust. If there was a little bit more time with her, I feel like we might have liked her a little bit more. Yeah, I mean, you get more like a double double bluff. You get more time with her in the book, True. so like True. if you if you really want to get to know her, read Masked Empire. Um, yeah, I I used to reunite them as mm -hmm. like thinking that was the happy mm -hmm. happy ending, but then I read Masked Empire and it's like, oh, them being together might not necessarily be the best thing. Yeah. No, mm -hmm. it's definitely. It's a very tedious situation between the two of them. Yeah. So now I, I mean, it's hard and you got to be in the Winter Palace for a while. But if I'm doing what I think is the quote unquote good outcome, I will get the three of them to work together. Yeah. Because I think mm. Selene by herself is going to be overthrown by Gaspard. Like there's just, right. it's going to happen. <laughs> and so since you can't have Briala in the shadows, because I think that relationship is bad for the two of them. The only yeah. way to do it is to have all three. But even that's going to be a power struggle. And, like, I think Solus says something about, like, eh, it doesn't really matter as long as they're fine for now and they don't go to war. <laughs> <laughs> no, long run, Solus. Stab it. Because <laughs> <laughs> I think it's mentioned that Corypheus wants Selene assassinated because it will cause chaos. So I feel like yeah. the, the best way forward is for Selene to survive in some way or another. Um... And like I agree that her relationship with Briala and having that influence on the throne is kind of uh, a bad idea. But at the same time, I feel like Briala was a lot of her strength as Empress. I think she was her eyes and ears, uh, like definitely in that sort of the Winter Palace and Olé. Um, so I feel like without Briala, Selene is she's still a probably good Empress, but I don't think she's as good. Yeah, in she in, outplayed a lot. In the worst world state that I'm playing right now, what I ended up doing because I couldn't let Selene get assassinated, like I just mm. m m I could not allow it, and so I started to think about what actually would be quote unquote worst outcome, and it would be Selene by herself, no Briala, mm. nothing, mm. and leaving Gaspard alive, and just being like, well, you two kids have fun figuring it out mm. a few years from now just be <laughs> quiet for now that's all i need <laughs> leaving it as you found it basically <laughs> yeah pretty much <laughs> yeah <laughs> i'm just gonna push this over here <laughs> <laughs> yeah sorry i killed your sister gaspar by or cousin whatever cousin, she is <laughs> uh, nice party uh, i can't i can remember yeah, i nice, always nice leave party. florian alive Oh, uh, I always end up, like, pretty... assassinating her. <laughs> uh, Luna, earlier, I think it was you, that said, uh, you were like, oh, is, apparently there's nothing else to do in Orlay. And in my head, I wanted to make the joke so bad, but I didn't want to cut anybody off. I wanted to be like, well, apparently to Celine, you could just do the elves and... <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, you should have said it. <laughs> I, I started to, but then I but then I started cutting Luna off. I was like, oh, sorry. So I stopped. Uh, hey, you know oh, what? Sorry. I'll find a way. I'll put this part in. Fuck it. <laughs> it's, it's my podcast. I'll, I'll throw whatever I want. <laughs> you should just overlay. You should like overlay your voice making that joke and like mute me for a second, like you did with that joke. I, can, I might be able to do that. <laughs> no, no one will tell. No one will tell. Yeah, except nobody will laugh. It'll just be you guys continue with the conversation. And it's like, damn, that guy really stupid, huh? <laughs> just like, really, kind of like. Really the unfunny. Sound goes <laughs> off. <crickets. laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can put in some canned laughter. Maybe we should all laugh now at the same time, like you just. <laughs> oh boy, you're so funny. 
There you go. Fix. Right, I'll, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, might, I might be able to pull some wizardry there and just move uh, this to that spot. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, but yeah, I think I was cutting out when I was saying, like, I always 100% the Winter Palace, so I had never fought Florian until this worst world state where I purposely did bad. Yeah, I... I had never fought Florian either, and then I saw that you could, and I'm like, how is- I'm seeing all these videos, how is everybody fighting Florian, and I'm just yeah. fucking killing her. And I always wanted to do it because you get the, the judgment in a box. Yes. Which, I'd seen <laughs> oh, videos, but I'd oh, never done. Yeah. <laughs> it's so, so funny. I love it. Oh, like, it doesn't, doesn't show, like, the skull will do public service in theater. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> And the table is, uh, and the box is end table for orphans. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> Man, that's funny. And Josephine's uh, just like, please stop, Inquisitor. Okay, we know what we're doing. Some of the judgments are just great. Like, yeah, they the are. goat and, like... Yeah, uh, Chief <laughs> Mogren or whatever. The goat There's never... a man throwing goats at the walls. <laughs> it never just fails my... to make me laugh, ever. Just, especially because of the, the cut, where it's like, Boom! Is it? Yeah. It is my <laughs> custom to smith <laughs> to smith lather your your holdings with goat's blood. I'm trying to remember who it is, but one of the sit in judgment characters, the huge judge. I think he was working for Corypheus, and I think one of the sentences is you like tie him to a post with a sign like <laughs> "I betrayed you, Corypheus" or something like that. <laughs> and like, I and leave Corypheus to find him. Oh my god, it's so funny. That sounds <laughs> absolutely like fucking panicking. great. Is it the Templar guy? Oh, I feel like he might be involved in the Warden quest, but I'm trying to uh, remember. I don't know, that sounds fucking awesome, and I've never done that. <laughs> Are you talking about Samson? Because I don't think that's Samson's. No, Do you I think it's Samson? Oh, oh man. man. I don't know, but that's fucking great. <laughs> I'm like uh, furiously Googling it right now. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. <laughs> it was, like I said, any any flubs and shit, I, I hardcore edit any issue inside these. <laughs> uh, by the way, that last one, good God, that took me a couple days to edit. <laughs> oh, not, no. even, not even because, not necessarily because it was so long, but because it was so long, I was like, I was doing it in like 20 minute chunks. <laughs> Okay, so it's Crassius Service. He's a Venatory overseer. Ah. How do you even um, get him? Is he, is he the guy in the, the Western Approach? No. Yeah. What? He's in the Western, he's in the Western Approach. Okay. Uh, he's I high on the, called the White Claws. I did that, I think, for the first time in, like, my, in my 2019 playthrough, like, at the end of the year, like, a couple months ago. Yeah, that, or it was early this year. Either way, I, I very recently I did that for the first time. Yeah, Angel you can, was shocked. Um... No, what's his name? It is um, Crassius C R. I could just type it, can I not? Crassius. Uh, a classy. <laughs> I got it. I got it. Crassius. I don't know why I caps locked that. <laughs> <laughs> just screaming it. <laughs> Crassus! Crassus! <laughs> People not on this channel right now are gonna be so confused. <laughs> For real. He's like, what in the fuck? What are they talking uh, about? <laughs> oh yeah, it So it's not It's not the guy that was having yeah, okay. It's not who I thought it was. I thought it was the... I can never remember the guy who's, like, heading the thing at the Western Approach. I'm like, no, that can't be one of the options. No. Aramond. Aramond, yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, I can't remember. I don't remember how you how you get this guy. Aramond. Yeah, I just, I just remember that you can, like, tie him to a post. <laughs> like, like <laughs> returning him to Corypheus. It's really funny. I don't think I've ever gotten this judgment. I'm gonna have to try to get this. Is oh my god, me? do. Or does Aramon look like... He he has a coat of slime on his body. Ah! Oh. <laughs> Aramon, Aramon looks so slimy. He just, like, swaths on grease before he comes to me. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. No touching. Oh, God. He just looks so gross. 
he just went down like such a little punk. Like I just like he's imbued with this power from Corypheus. <laughs> like like w- like Clarell just like beats him in one <laughs> like one electric ball. <laughs> and it's like uh, where? Where? If this was if this was like Mass Effect or something, he's the the type of character that you'd walk up to and just punch in the face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yep. <laughs> In, yeah. in the words of Cole, Aramon is an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, man, I love that kid. Yeah, he's great. <laughs> oh, God. I love Cole. Me too. Oh, man. I'm yeah. so sad. Because he's, he's, I don't think he's going to be in four. And I, I, love would, I would love that. Even a cameo would just be so good, yes. but I don't think they'll do it. Mm-hmm. I hope he is. Asunder was such an amazing book. Yes. Oh, oh God. God. Anyway. I just wish should... I had read it before. Funny I enough. Okay, yeah. so until Inquisition, I did not like Cole because of Asunder. Like, really? Oh, my really. God. No, no, no. I love uh, the writing. I yeah, actually yeah, yeah. love his writing like as a character, but like, I just didn't like the character I, yeah, specifically. Yeah, that's totally fine. All yeah. Right. Like... Uh, dude, I went on a camping trip and I took Asunder with me, and I was like, "On this camping trip, I'm gonna fucking read this entire book," and I did. Mm-hmm. And after yep. I finished it, I was like, "I need for this game to come out now." <laughs> I was losing my mind. I was like, "This is the greatest thing that's ever happened to me. I need to fucking <laughs> play this game." I think I, I don't even know. It was just. I don't know, just fucking set me off. I was like, this is amazing, and I need everything. I would love, I would love, 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 love if we could get one of Reese, uh, Adrian, or Evangeline in a game. Oh, God, yes. Oh, yes, please. It would be so good. Maybe not Adrian. I don't know, she's kind of uh, moody nowadays. (laughs) But I really like like Evangeline, like, ex-Templar. Like, she fills in that role that... um, like Cullen like, has previously done. <laughs> <laughs> I think it would be. Yeah. I think it would be fitting to have it be Reese because of Win. Yes. And mm. like, I, like I, I would just like that connection. Like, Reese is. So... And at, at that point, he's the head of the Free Mages, right? At that point. Yeah. Uh, okay. the Anderfels. I thought Fiona was. No, no. I okay, think yeah, she's the head right. of the Pharrells and Free Mages, and I think he's. I think it's the Anderfells he's in. I think. It's been a while since I read it. I was going to say, like... I read this a while ago. Yeah, same. Yeah. Was, right before Inquisition came out was when I read it. <laughs> yep, same. Uh... Yeah, I feel like he's, he's the head of something. Because it's weird that he's actually. They're only mentioned on in, in like War Table missions. And mm-hmm. not in the larger like mage templar conflict. I find I found that a little strange because um, he would be a fairly big deal in that conflict, which he was kind of there for the start of. Mm-hmm. Um, but no, he would like that would be such a good companion in Dragon Age Four. Really would. Yeah, it would. Oh boy, I am I am feeling super super hype right now. Despite my, <laughs> despite my voice being very tired, <laughs> I, I am so. Every time, every time I talk about Asunder, I'm like this, this book. I fucking love that book. <laughs> it's so good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, I'm. It was the first Dragon Age book I read actually, and I read them all this lockdown. <laughs> nice. Like I read, I read like five of them. I haven't touched the comics yet. Like five of them, no, six of them, in two weeks. Like, I could not put them down. <laughs> it was bad, but yeah, Sunder I did in like two days. I couldn't put it down. I have to type this. Uh, 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 I am typing in all caps. It's alright, we didn't, we didn't really spoil anything, so that's good. Much. Yeah. Yeah, so that's good. We didn't Literally make... right when I was about to drop the biggest spoiler, yeah, we, and I'm we like, didn't... okay, yeah, we're fine. <laughs> we didn't shoot out at also... <laughs> Okay. We didn't, we didn't shoot out any 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 plot points, so that's good. No. <laughs> I was like, oh, they're going to talk about the book. I'm going to go get some coffee right. and avoid being like, please don't... <laughs> read, read it as soon as you can, and then talk to us about it. We can make a yeah, whole seriously. episode out of it or something. Oh, it is, yeah, it is next on my TBR list. I'm I will currently up, reading something else, but yeah, I'll straight up reread it. And I got to. I'll yeah, so would I. I mean, I've I've thrown the 
the idea around of doing like a book club of all the Dragon Age. Mm. We could do that on here for sure, man. I don't, I don't care. I'm down for it. <laughs> that would be fun. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Speaking of that, though, we should probably move on to Luna's Inquisition. <laughs> 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 All right. did we, just like a big break. Yeah. What? That's fine. Did, we, did we do Asia's decision? Because she said we, she wasn't going to come. Oh, the oh yeah. Oh, no, we didn't. Yeah, I don't think I ever said. So I get all oh. three of them to work together now. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we got on that tangent, but uh, yeah. So since I hundred percent Winter Palace, I'm like, okay. So all three of them are going to work together. Don't open that closet to get the locket. Just focus on getting dirt on everyone. Because <laughs> they're all terrible. <laughs> They've all done terrible things. Yeah, they're all that pretty shitty. Right, reason. <laughs> right, like, they all have good justification, but they've all done terrible things. I think the worst is Selene's uh, naked guy in her room, which makes me laugh every <laughs> single yeah. time. Yeah. I feel like they all bring something good to the table, though. Like, Gaspar mm -hmm. brings his... They oh, kind yeah. of, in fact, they kind of mirror the advisors in that way. You've got like Gaspar bringing his military stuff. You've got Briala and her secrets, and you've got Celine and her connections in Orlais. And they basically end up mirroring your Inquisition advisors in that way, yeah. which is kind of interesting. I hadn't thought of it that way. Um, Me neither. So you'd think like three heads would be better than one, but mm -hmm. mm. I'm still worried that they're all going to try to kill each other eventually because yeah. of the game. Oh, yeah, right. But. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. All right. Well, now, Luna. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, uh, in a similar vein, trying to avoid the obvious ones, and I actually ended up coming with come up with two that I uh, ended up researching at length before making the decisions, and I didn't know which one to choose. So I'm kind of cheating by choosing two. <laughs> the first one is whether to drink from the well, um, the well of sorrows, and the second one is whether to disband the Inquisition. Ah, those are both good ones. <laughs> so, the first one, drinking from the well, um, I just because I hadn't played Origins on my first playthrough, mm -hmm. so I had this, I had this Morrigan character like, oh, you must let me drink from the well. Only I can drink from the well. Let me drink from the well, and I was like. This is fishy. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like I do not trust you. What, what, what are you planning? Um, yeah, but I ended up, I ended up letting her drink. But mm. yeah, I did not trust her at all. She was just too keen. Yeah. Um, uh, disbanding the Inquisition, I really struggled with. Um, and I think what's more annoying is that currently. There are no repercussions for disbanding or not. <laughs> I imagine there yes, will be in there. four. We're gonna uh, find out. <laughs> yeah, it, it, there, <laughs> there should be in four, but we'll see. It might be one of those non-decision decisions. <laughs> God, I hope. Oh, no, please no. I'm, uh, I, I imagine it... there'll be some kind of crazy, uh, like betrayal or some shit like that if you don't. Mm. It don't all. For me on that, because that is a tough choice, I agree. Um, it, it all depends on who's actually your divine. And if it's Liliana, if she's hardened or not. There's so yeah. many factors that it's like, I would trust Cassandra with the Inquisition. Would I trust a hardened Liliana? Oh, hell no. no. <laughs> <laughs> would I trust Vivian with an Inquisition? Nope. So... <laughs> Trust <laughs> I think I would trust Liliana if she wasn't hardened. Yes, that's like, what I do recently. That's that's actually what I do in my canon playthrough. If she isn't hardened, then I do make her divine. Mm -hmm. Like I think what I did, I think I was re I I was and am really anti Solas. So that his whole spiel at the end of Trespasser, and he's like, "Oh, you're my spy tripped over their spies, and you know your Inquisition is corrupt from the inside," and I was like. Oh man, this this guy's an asshole, but like he's correct. <laughs> <laughs> but he's right. He's got a point. Yeah. I can't like, wait for that conversation. Like you're still you're still being a smart ass all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Damn that egg. <laughs> yeah. I for once to be wrong about something. So yeah, I had every intention to not disband, and then. I thought about more about what he was saying, and I was like, "God damn, he's right! Like we are becoming corrupted AF." So, <laughs> yeah, 
I disbanded. Um, I think it was the sad disbanded. I can't remember. Oh, because really, uh. <laughs> I was sad because it felt like like the end of my Inquisitor's story. Yeah. No, it's not quite. Because mm-hmm. um, you see it formed at the beginning of base yeah. game. You have your little sing song in the snow, and it, you've come all this way. You're in Skyhold. Like you really do build this place, like this uh, organization from the ground up. Mm-hmm. So then to be the one to tear it, to tear it down. The, yeah, that stung, but I disbanded just because just what he was saying was like, oh, you've got a point. <laughs> yeah. I got two things to add to that real quick. First one, mm. are, is our Inquisitor allowed to stay in Skyhold? I, I don't think either think way. So. I just, I don't think, I don't see the point in like, like, okay, you did all that, but can I just live there now? If it was me, I'd be like, <laughs> I'll keep this as a house. This is a pretty dope house. I mean, you yeah. still got, we've still got construction to do, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, hey, you, you can get most of it done. Things are still falling apart, but hey. It's not that bad. You got a kick ass bedroom. You know? <laughs> because of its location, it, like, if you disband, I don't think whoever is the head of Orle and whoever is the head of Ferelden is going to be like, yeah, it's fine. We'll have a giant figurehead stay in the place where there's a large castle and they can accrue an army. Yeah, it's fine. I don't I don't see that happening. <laughs> Even if Alistair's not hardened and is like, yeah, sure. I, I don't see our lay being cool with it. Uh, uh, mm. I I hate everybody. Especially, <laughs> their re- especially their reactions when like bef- like during Trespasso, they were like Ah, oh, you guys need to stop. Ah, oh, mm-hmm. no. I can't no even tell way. you how much I want to bitch slap Tegan all throughout <laughs> Trespasser. Oh, no. What is your problem, you fucking cock? He's just what mad is... he didn't hook up with the warden back yeah, in the origins. He's, fucking... <laughs> he's mad because he's great. Just, just alone and no one loves him now. <laughs> it's just... Like, you do so much for all these different areas and then suddenly everyone's just like... Grr. Yeah, <laughs> I, I did kind of like when he when Tegan was saying you've got the, I think it's Tegan that said you've got this massive military force like on the border of both Orle and Ferelden, yeah. and you mm-hmm. haven't declared what your intentions are to do with it. I was like, yeah, that's probably fair enough because like we're pretty powerful and we're not really aligned with anyone, mm-hmm. right? So it yeah. is kind of this like neutral chaos, um, neutral chaotic organization that could really just do anything they wanted. Mm-hmm. So I. I did sympathize with him when he said that, even though he's a douchebag. Yeah, bag. I, I totally, I totally <laughs> agree. I, I, I've, I, I don't disagree in the slightest, but also, like you said, he's a douchebag. <laughs> also, I, if it was me, I'd be world. like, I'd be like, okay, let me declare a side then. Fucking, I'll, I'll declare a side. Let me. Yeah, but if my you boy. do that, if you do that, then it's gonna cause a war, no matter whose side you choose. The other side's like, gonna be mad. I'm going off to clap some cheeks. Then who wants to get their ass beat? <laughs> It's funny because I liked Tegan so much in Origins. I was just yes. like, "Oh, he's so great!" And then like, bam! <laughs> I remember the first time playing Trespasser, Josephine. Oh, look, there's Eel- Earl Tegan. I was like, "Is it? It doesn't look like him at all." Why does Earl no, Tegan look like he's been? Why does he look like he's been, like he's been <laughs> smoking meth? <laughs> years have been unkind they have been unkind really bad like <laughs> wasn't he wasn't he kind of a wasn't he kind of a hottie in origins and oh like, yeah yeah a whole yeah. lot of, <laughs> whole lot, whole lot of people were yeah. simping for tegan back in the day <laughs> i mean you yeah. have like you can flirt with him as a female warden and he's like <laughs> yeah. hey and he's all into it and he's just like in another life Holy shit, if that's what happens to Tegan in two games, what is Cullen going to look like in Dragon Age 5? Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's going to look like a corpse, because he's probably dead. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> from, from, from fucking... What's her name? From oh, fucking God. is right. <laughs> <laughs> they got plenty of time now, so... Oh, you know. God. I was going to say fucking Harding, but I, I almost said Charter, so... Either way... <laughs> Fucking is canon. That's uh... <laughs> that is very true. It is canon. Oh no! Just on the um, just on the Skyhold thing, actually, isn't um into the tonight we go to Skyhold, don't we? Um, mm-hmm. Yep. And I'm thinking that that's probably it's probably canon that whether you disband or not, no one's in Skyhold. I think mm-hmm. you all leave. 
Yeah. That's it, good it, point. It's because location, I'm telling you. Like, yeah. both countries would be like, you need to go. I it's still so haven't sad. read to Winter Nights. I need to really badly. Like, okay, yeah, so, I need to it. so we're gonna have to do the book club, basically. And the yeah. first book is gonna have to be to Winter Nights because all so many people who have come on the podcast is like, I haven't finished it yet. I'm like, ah! <laughs> I haven't even started. I just don't like. I haven't had the chance to get it yet. I'm just like, yeah. oh, I, I read please. the first. I read the first part, the first story out of like the however many stories there are. And I was like, Dan, this is really good. And then I was like, I'm just going to do another playthrough of Inquisition now. <laughs> <laughs> and I never went back. I feel uh, like that happens like a lot. You get yeah. a reference to one of the games and you're like, okay. Sorry, I'll come back to you other video games. This is my <laughs> true love. Reminds me of a joke from fucking Aziz Ansari. Who's like, oh, I don't know anything about Joe Pesci. And then he just looks up. What if I learn everything about Joe Pesci? <laughs> that's me with Dragon Age. I'm like, oh, I'll read this book. What if I did everything in the fucking world about these books? Yeah, <laughs> that was me with Stolen Throne. I was like, oh, oh, I'm making them be my warden. Let's go. Exactly. <laughs> Let's get over again. That was me within like three months of finishing Inquisition. I think I played both other games, read every single book except for the comics. Started a Twitter, started a Twitch, a YouTube, and Instagram. Like, <laughs> I was like, I need to inject Dragon Age into my eyeballs every day. <laughs> yeah. Put it in my bloodstream. <laughs> like, that, uh, <laughs> like, like Ace Ventura. It's in the bone! <laughs> <laughs> Literally how I feel about the whole thing. <laughs> um, did it, um, on the drinking from the well, what, uh, what did everyone do? Oh, I always drink in the well. Almost it depends, always. It depends on my playthrough. I have, like, three states, but, uh... <clears throat> the canon one I have, I definitely don't. Morgan can deal with that. Like, yeah. I'm like, no. The only time I <laughs> don't do it is if I'm a human. So if I'm a, if I'm an elf, which I'm 99% of the time an elf, yeah. I, I, I'm like, give me that well! I want it! <laughs> yeah, and definitely. I, like, if I'll you're drink, an elf, it's kind of like your heritage, sort yeah, of. I'll and drink so... the whole ass well. <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, I I love me some well. That's some good shit. I, I always love Morgan's reaction. She's like, oh, hey, on the other hand, I'm kind of glad you drink from it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think I, just for avoiding fighting all the ancient elves in, or the ancient elves in Trespasser, just for, the, just for avoiding all of that, I, I drink. <laughs> exactly. That is my reason as well. As soon as, the first time I played Trespasser, um, I was in the middle of another playthrough in uh, Inquisition, and when we got to the fight, uh, those fights with the ancient elves, I'm like, this is this is insane, because those are really hard fights. Yeah. Uh, if you drink from the well, you don't have to fight them. So in the one that the Inquisition playthrough I was currently working on, I was like, you drink from that well. I will drink from that well. Because so. you can get there, and either they and the Kunari attack you at the same time, or they're helping you fight Kunari, and I was like, this is a this is a no-brainer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but if that's, that's reason enough. And you get to tame a dragon, which is awesome. Yeah, <laughs> um, I didn't even... I wish that been developed more. I think because I always drink from the well. I remember the one time that I didn't. I was like, "Wait a second, you don't tame the dragon." Mm-hmm. <laughs> you get an extra steam with the thaw. Morgan yeah. is the dragon. <laughs> ride the dra <laughs> hashtag ride the dragon. Oh no! <laughs> oh god! <laughs> I always wondered actually, like, with what happens at the end of the base game of Inquisition with Mithal, does that mean that any link between whoever drank and Mithal is broken? Mm, I figure. I, I, I assumed, thought. Oh god! You sorry, I'm oh, you first. Sorry, I kind of figured that uh, Solus now has that control. That's what I was oh also going god. to say. I, as, I assume it just transfers to Solus, which is why in my oh. in my head, which is why the Inquisitor can't go after him in DA4 because he can just use that wiggle his fingers and control you now. Yeah. Oh god, I don't like that. <laughs> so it's either like at all. it's it's either that or like Mythal is messing with that alluvian right as mm. Solus comes in, mm -hmm. and so there has to be a reason why they were showing that. 
Mm. And I think like she was sending a piece of herself. Of exactly, her. just like she did at the beginning of DA two. Like, so I actually oh. don't think Mythal is dead. This woman needs to stop sending pieces of herself and just fucking die. <laughs> <laughs> I, no, I literally love her so much. <laughs> yeah, I think what she, what Solus took was the old god, not Mythal. Oh, Very that's bad. Mm. So, like, he might think it is, but I just like... want to, I just want to say that we, every every podcast we find a way to make sure we mention how much we want to just slap Solus around a little bit. <laughs> I don't know if you saw in the title for the second one. I put yes, we talk about beating Solus some more or something like that. I mean, it's hard enough to talk about like Inquisition and not at least bring it up. Just like talk <laughs> yeah. about. Just like, yo, you guys want to talk about fucking the masked empire? By the way, Solus, I smacked the fuck out of him. I mean, technically, like, there's a theory that he's in the masked empire. Just... Yeah, he's, yeah. I, again, I haven't read the book, but I've, I've heard that and I've. And hey. I... Oh my god, yes. Read the book. No, uh, I thought that yeah. was. I thought that was. Never mind. Sorry, I'm not spoiling. No, no, it's fine. Was, I've I've read the spoilers ages ago. I don't remember most of them, but okay. I do remember the fact that everybody thinks that that one guy is Solus. Yeah, I thought that like was nimble. Read the... No, read the last page. It's just running yeah. theory. No, yeah, the last page. I thought that was Corpheus uh, talking about like the uh, Elder One and. Yeah, mm. I, I I know a lot of people on YouTube <laughs> who are like, that's definitely Solus. Oh, I mean, at first, I have to read. Was... I can't remember okay, who I thought it was. I thought it was, um... I thought he was talking to Briala. I, I don't no know idea. why. All I know <laughs> is that I, I... I watched a bunch of, uh... A bunch of videos on, uh... On the spoilers and stuff. Like, when they came out and all that. And there wasn't a single person I heard say anything. But this guy is definitely solid. <laughs> I'm gonna have to reread it then, because yeah. I could have sworn it was Corpheus. Yeah, I, I haven't even read it yet, and I, I own it. I just have to read it. Yeah. And uh, every every time I, I, I look anything up about it, everybody's always like, yeah, that's definitely Solus, right? And I'm like, I think I the have feeling no was, was that um, Felisan recognized and perhaps was even friends with whoever he's speaking to. Mm -hmm. So okay. I think the, the feeling was that it wouldn't be. Uh, like Corypheus or a bag, which is why I thought it was Briala because like that's the closest friend that we know of mm -hmm. that he has. Um, yeah, so there's a there is a, a popular theory that it's actually Solus he's speaking to, um, rather than okay. You know. Yeah, plus at the end of Trespasser, he has all the Alluvians, so Briala was trying yeah. to collect them. So he either did something to Briala to get them, or is working with Briala, or that is him. Okay. Actually, um, I loved Felisan, and I know he's supposed to be dead and or tranquil, but I would love for him to be in DA4. I thought he was so great. It would be cool if he came back as tranquil, because we need a tranquil companion. That's yes. all I want. Oh, I never actually thought about having a tranquil companion. That'd be interesting. Uh... It'd be cool if we could like seek out Cassandra, who supposedly in most people, in many playthroughs, will have the knowledge of how to reverse tranquility. Mm -hmm. yeah. if, we, if we can find him, recruit him initially as tranquil, and then his personal quest is to seek out Cassandra Pentagast, um, who can make him untranquil. Mm -hmm. um, oh, that would be, be so awesome. good. Yeah, because then you would also have the cameo from the last game, and then like, because right. I just love Cassandra in general. But like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I mean, I think Cassandra yeah. would be coming back. Whether like, I think of all the people, we're gonna see Cass again. Mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. of all the people, we'll definitely see Dorian though. Oh well, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's I think Dorian's a good child. Dorian, Cass, and then I think Josephine will come back. I yeah. think Josephine as well. Just because she's in uh, Antiva, and we should be going to Davinta, and like it's close by, like that's the only reason. <laughs> and then I think there's a good chance of Fenris showing up too. Yes. Hopefully, hopefully. I have returned. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. He's like, yeah, that would be so cool. My girlfriend needed to call me for a ride to work later. So. Aww. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All three just Oz. <laughs> <Aww. laughs> 
It's okay, because she's also mad at me again, so that's fine. Oh, oh, no! Did you tell her that you're not going to marry her again? That's not... Oh, uh, there's... That's a thing. Was, wait, wait, were Luna and Nimble... I know Nimble wasn't there for that. Luna, you weren't there for nope. that. Who, who was the other... <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, more Context, tangent. please. Yeah. Oh, God. Hey, I, I'm going to keep this in, because this is good shit. <laughs> <laughs> My my girlfriend uh, was <laughs> she uh, oh god I can't even remember the whole thing but uh, basically she was like hey uh, she just like called me up randomly and was like hey we're, when are you gonna marry me and I went my dude I'm fucking 22 we are not getting married I don't even I don't want to marry you right now and she got really <clears throat> oh my god she got really, really upset at that. Oh no! And I think there was more, but I can't. I can't remember the whole thing. It was while we were recording. She called. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Just randomly called. When are we getting married? I'm like, my dude, I'm twenty fucking two. I'm not ready for that. I don't have any stability. This this woman calls me. Oh, I mean, honestly, she's my girlfriend, so she calls me all the time. But she calls me. And she's like, she'll just randomly call me one day and just be like, you know, she'll call me like two hours from now and be like, hey, when are we having babies? I'm like, guy, you better <laughs> fucking stop. I'm fucking, I can't even, I cannot support a child yet. I'm a I fucking am child for still. The fact that you call your girlfriend dude and guy. <laughs> Luna, I am from, I am from Boston. <laughs> I am living because when I call my boyfriend dude, he's like, "Yeah, don't call me that." <laughs> I got. I'll literally call her right now. Put her on speakerphone. Mm. I'll fucking. Do that. I'll, I love maybe it. I'll wait for the recording to finish. <laughs> 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 but, nimble, nimble, it's, it's your turn for the Inquisition, right? <laughs> All right. So well, uh, so we can get through this. Okay. We'll we'll let you do your last Inquisition. We'll we'll do a little uh, whatever. We'll say bye to everybody. And then maybe I'll maybe I'll <laughs> I'll record this as like a fun little side thing of me calling my girlfriend and calling her dude and guy and see what happens. <laughs> oh god. Okay. Okay. So originally I actually had um uh, the same thing Aja had uh or Lay, but so the other thing that was really difficult for me was choosing when you're doing the judgment of uh, Lexius's fate. Mm. So, mm. I don't like to make anybody tranquil, but I, I also kind of, like, understand where he's coming from, the fact that he was trying to save his son the entire time. And so, although I don't justify it by any means, because it's like, you know, you're, you kind of sent Dorian and her, and you wanted to, or not her, the Inquisitor out into existence and everything and that's mm -hmm. just awful but at the same time like it it kind of shows like the writing how well he is written because of the fact that like it so much that you would do to save your child mm -hmm. and so i end up not executing him but like having him become a researcher mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I i like that choice to be honest i do it like every time now so, like, I it, think most judgments where you end up with an agent and or more war table missions, I generally go for. Mm. Same. So, uh, oh, go ahead, Aja. I agree, but there is one time when I will totally 100% make them a um, tranquil. A tranquil. Yeah. And that is for. Um, the, the Vistas, or however you say his name, Aramond. Like, yeah. Aramond, mm -hmm. I'm like, yeah. I will make you. <laughs> you talking about Aramond or are you talking about Crassius? <laughs> no, I'm not talking about Crassius. I know, like, I know I'm just fucking. <laughs> Crassius, sorry! No. <laughs> no, I'm talking about Aramond. Um, however, it all depends on if my Inquisitor has had the conversation with Cassandra yet that you could tr cure tranquility. Because mm. if that conversation has already happened, it's a little weird to be like, Hey, Erebon, I'm going to make you tranquil. Oh, by the way, we can cure it. But we just won't. Yeah, you just don't. <laughs> Fuck you, Erebon, you fucking bastard. <laughs> <laughs> 
I think mm. I might have executed him just because of the heavy disapprovals you get from nearly everyone if you make him <laughs> tranquil, which uh, I don't understand, yeah. but I just execute him. Because I always feel like as well, like the problem with tranquility is that if at that point you know it can be reversed, it's like no longer this permanent solution. Because, yeah. Yeah. You know, right. Kind of like a... Untranquil. It's kind of like a sentence for a while or something like right. that. Like you get like a fi five year uh, <laughs> tranquiling and then you come back to society as a human being. Yeah. And I, I think guess it's a back... little bit better than being permanent. But... Yeah. I mean, it's still fucked. <laughs> yeah, it's really bad. And he comes back he... even madder. <laughs> yeah, but he come back even more pissed off. <laughs> okay, now it's my vengeance. Destroy the world time. <laughs> yeah, he'll find another old god. Don't worry. <laughs> oh, like I, I don't, I I don't always do it, but if there's one that I would consider, it would be him. Yeah. I'm gonna put it that yeah. way. Right. It's just like such a really bad, harsh thing to do. Yeah, I didn't actually understand what it was when I first played the game. So I think I made oh. most mages tranquil. <laughs> oh, <no! laughs> I was like, that's a happy solution. Like they get to live, but not not harm anyone. I'm over here just hist laughing in evil laughter. Like, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> Fucking kill him! Why is everyone disapproved of this? This is a great solution. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> and, I, and I read. I think it was a sunder that gives you a whole bunch of stuff on tranquility, and I was like, oh god, <laughs> I'm I'm a monster. <laughs> <laughs> or just that just that side quest with Anders and his friend, like where yeah. he's talking about it's oh. as if all everything has gone dull. It's like, oh tranquility. Like, just, just kill me. Yeah. Just kill me. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, uh, I feel like you should be able to make Anders tranquil and then kill him. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's how much I hate him. I that's like, how much you don't like him. Well, no. wait, so speaking of <laughs> Speaking of which, no one brought it up, so we really should talk about what to do with Anders. <laughs> oh, kill, no. kill, 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 I kill, kill. Yeah, I watched the podcast and I was so sad because, like, I'm one of the ones that likes Anders. Kill, kill, but, kill. I was like, no! <laughs> and it's not even, like, okay, so I, when I was younger, uh, I, when I first started playing Dragon Age and I played Dragon Age 2, I was like, oh, it's so cute. They're like in love. And I'm like, and then, and then later, like now, I'm like, oh my God, this is like an obsessive and unhealthy relationship. Uh -huh. like, <laughs> like, I will not ro romance him again, like at all. But mm. at the same time, I love the fact that, like, in Awakening, he was like my favorite character, obviously. And, but he wanted to just help justice. And then it like bites him in the ass so mm. harshly that, like, I'm just like, oh my god, I feel so bad for you. Although, yes, yeah. Ethan, he does whine a lot. Terrorist. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I, we kind of touched on this. Like, killing him is what he wants, so it's kind of hard yeah. for me to do that. But let's be I real, this any. He's like, kill me, I'll be a martyr. But does yeah. he really become a martyr? He does, He's, though. I don't think... You never hear of his name ever again, except for, like, once in Inquisition. Nobody's like, this is for Anders, you son of a bitch! <laughs> They're just like, yep, we're, we're, we're fucking free now. Nobody gives a fuck about him. Because he was like, mm. hey, you know, my favorite... My spare time, when I'm not whining, I like to bomb churches. <laughs> I, don't know. I just find it really interesting, like, because if you do the friendship with him, he says it's himself. And then when you do the rivalry with him, he says justice is taken. It's justice, him. yeah. Like, yeah. I don't know which one it is, but I he's a lying it. bastard. <laughs> <laughs> it's him and him alone, the son of a bitch. <laughs> but don't you think it's more punishment to make him come with you and make things right? It would be more punishment if I killed him faster. <laughs> <laughs> And then, no changing. No changing I, his mind. Nope, never. I, I want his head on my plaque. <laughs> See, I think making him live and then having to deal with the consequences, and especially coming back to the gallows, and be like, hey, you get to clean all this up. I, will... I definitely do that. And then I have my, like, hawk break up with him. I'm like, nope. You guys are done. Nope. So I will, I will change my mind if in Dragon Age 4 he shows up and we can see the consequences. 
But if he if he never shows up again, then it's just going to be death for me every time. <laughs> like, I doubt he will show up. That's yeah. the thing. That, like, so many people probably did kill him. If we get in DA4 and I see him on the streets begging for some fucking money or something, and he's just depressed and his life is ruined, then maybe I'll let him live one time just to see that so I can laugh at him. But... <laughs> Just but, like, just imagine him going to Deventer and succeeding, just like in and, spite of you. And then I fucking just I, I just find a way to metaphysically enter the game and choke him with my <laughs> bare hands. You son of a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> like I mean, any any character that could have died along the way is probably not going to show up. They've kind of made uh, that yeah. clear. Yeah. So no. No, no, no. Okay, Liliana. Except for uh, Liliana, and that was because <laughs> she's a like, magic fate spirit thing. Oops. And yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like there's a thing there, like yeah. one exception. <laughs> but she's made out of she's lyrium, and <laughs> it's not actually her. <laughs> oh, uh, oh boy! All right, I can't I... do that for everything, though. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> One shot which, too many. <laughs> which is why I'm afraid Fenris won't show up again because he can possibly die. Mm. So. Well, pretty much all the characters in Dragon Age 2 can die. Mm -hmm. like, Doesn't he really? appear Fenris in the comics though? Yeah, if you don't have enough approval or rivalry with him, then he will side with the Templars. If oh, you yeah. Him. Yep, and then you gotta fight him. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. And then it's Does the same with Anders. Afterwards? I th for some reason, I, th I thought Samus was in the comics. He is. He's in the he new is. One. Yeah, the new one. They take place after DA2? Yes. Yeah. yeah. After Inquisition, they have actually. Oh, okay. So basically, That's the books kind of have their yeah. own canon. Mm. Yeah, so they'll use characters from the main story. Could come back. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a possibility yeah. for sure. They Thanks. definitely. I'm, I'm pretty. Grew. I'm not like sure, but I think he is going to end up coming back based on like. The new comic books and mm. everything yeah. else. It, it's hard to tell because in the previous comics, like Alistair's King, like that's kind of how true they have made their canon, but it's not necessarily actual canon. So mm -hmm. it's my canon. <laughs> mine, mine, too. <laughs> mine, mine. Uh, I have the human woman noble married to Alistair, and they're like all in love, mm. and I'm like, yay. <laughs> 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 oh, I understand. My first playthrough, when I found out at the end, playing as a mage, that I couldn't marry Alistair, I was like, well, I guess I'm playing this again. <laughs> oh, I know. It was so messed up, like, if your first playthrough is something else, and then suddenly you're like, bam, relationship over, unless you want to be a... what? What is the word? A... It's not a concubine. Oh, uh, That's terrible. Uh, I was, was going to say a, concubine, a actually. Concert. It's a concert. Concert. Um, concert. Yeah. Why did I want to say? Yeah, I went with concubine too. <laughs> if you're an elf, I think if you're an elf, isn't it a concubine? Uh... I know if you're if you're a male and if you're a male and you go with Anora, you're the consort. I thought if you were an elf, you like you can't be the queen or whatever, so you become his fucking concubine or something like that. Concubine or mistress or something like yeah, that. Yeah, something. Yeah, like that. yeah. And it's, it's consort it's only male. and it's only if he's hardened, he will not do a relationship with you if you were if he's like softened i didn't like, even know that again that hardened choice that's <laughs> the hardest thing i'm telling you <laughs> like there's definitely consequences if you don't and there's consequences if you do yep true yeah. very true all right well i think uh i think we've uh gone through just about everything i was gonna go back and talk about uh like for my for my inquisition thing since i skipped it i was gonna talk about the uh What's it called? The divine choice, but then we all kind of said our divine choices at one point. <laughs> uh, Vivian. <okay>. Boom! <laughs> oh no! It's not. It's because she's doing the worst state right now, and she's scum. I mean, uh, <laughs> Vivian's also divine in my like canon quote uh, <gasps> Iron Bull oh, romance. Really? That was it was completely by accident, but I was like, yeah, I kind of get this. Sean. No, Sean. <laughs> It sets the stage well for Dragon Age 4. <laughs> it no. set the stage well for when I smack <laughs> Vivian into oblivion. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, well, on that note, I think it's time to head out. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> so uh, <laughs> thank you thanks all three of you for coming by and talking with me thanks everybody for stopping by and watching I appreciate it of course yes, I'm glad to have you, you so guys much. I always love having you uh, <laughs> and we will see everybody next time bye bye, bye. Cross bye. Your service. <laughs> <laughs>